Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Endeavor. Guys, stay with your pal Super Turtle. We have got some fun plans today. We're going to be going over to the nether and grabbing a few blaze spawners. And we're going to be adding on to our our boy over here, the tall boy. So yeah, we're going to be build. ouch. We're going to be building on the outside of that as well. If you guys have noticed, that might be a little loud, but I have improved the microphone quality from the last two episodes. I'm terribly sorry about that. Uh, I was trying to do something, and it ended up messing everything up. So I had to spend a couple hours actually getting everything uh, back to decent. Look at that spider head. We have beheading on this. Yeah, and I, I don't want to be here because we are in a village, so if I kill that guy, it's going to be rough. So we need to go ahead and make a cardboard box real quick from mechanism, which means we need the precision. We need the sawmill. That's what we need. All right, we need a D sky precision sawmill. Very simple to make. Do we still have any steel left over? No worries, we can always just go like this. Do we have any coal left in here? We do not. Um, yeah, I've got quite a bit of coal we can just toss into there. Like so. And then all we need to do is throw some iron and just wait a bit. All right, and then once all these are enriched iron, we just take them out and put them back in. And then we wait for them to process into steel dust. Very easy with mechanism to create steel ingots. Then you just smelt up the steel and gets very, or steel grit, I guess is what it's called. Very simple. Just gets into here, gets smelted up into steel. And as you can see, we have quite a bit. And that is zinc, by the way. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so with that being crafted up, we can go ahead and make this steel casing. So we can get everything but the uh, steel when everything's actually in here. So I guess that made it easy. Come on. There we go. Check it out. One more. Precision sawmill. Oh, there we go. All right, and then we need those two other doohickeys. Actually, I think there's three doohickeys that we need to worry about. And those are these guys. So these are like the same process we just turn osmium into. It looks like we only need two of those. So we're going to grab two osmium here and two iron because iron is what makes those little circle guys. We're going to take some redstone here. You guys are probably going to cringe because I'm going to dump all that coal and then we're going to put some normal redstone dust in here. Now, if we look at mechanism, there's actually a way in the enrichment chamber to make this into enriched redstone, which in turn gives us more of this redstone MB uh, per redstone. But uh, we have so much redstone, I don't really care. And then I do believe if we break this, it does stay within the inventory. So when we replace it down again, it'll be working. And with that, we have the infused alloy. We need to go ahead and make the precision sawmill. So we'll just go ahead and put this guy away for the time being. We're going to go ahead and craft up the precision... I can never say this properly. Precision sawmill, yes. And then we're going to go ahead and take some wood that we have. Let's see, what's the least good wood? Okay, we got you, wood wood. And so what we do is, in turn, this does give us like a... Oh, we can put that in there. Um, all right, so I found that we don't actually need the wood pieces. We actually just need sticks. So we're just going to throw sticks in here because we need to get a material called sawdust. And that will allow us to make the cardboard boxes and move mob spawners to wherever we want them. All right, and with that, I think we have a sufficient amount of sawdust here. So let's just go ahead and combine these all together. Yep, as you can see, we have 10 boxes total. Now these will allow us to pick up the mob spawners. Uh, very similar to this, so all you need to do is just click the block like that. You'll shift, mine it, and then you'll pick it up, and then you'll place it down, and then shift right click, and as you can see, it pops back off. So very simple, uh, very similar to how, how we're gonna be doing that in the nether to get all the, the good spawners, but we need to find some nether fortresses and things like that so we're gonna have to go to the nether but in order to do that we're gonna need to get some gear because having an iron chest plate and an iron helmet just ain't going to cut it so we need to craft up some goodies now i believe i do have some emeralds in here that we can use i sure do so we're gonna go ahead and use up as many of these as we can so we're gonna make our chest plate here gonna make our pants and our helmet looks like we will need to make some diamond boots which isn't too bad. Uh, 
All right, I feel pretty good. What about you guys? And here we go. Holy crap. Um. Nylium soul sand? Quartus sand? <gasps> ah. Quartz crystal hurts. But if you break it, you get nether quartz. Oh. I've never been to this nether before. Oh, he's gonna fight me. You wanna freaking go? One shotted boy. Warped coral block. Very cool looking. Alright. Don't know what that is. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna be looking for another fortress, so I'm gonna be exploring. If I find anything cool, I'll bring you guys back. Ooh, soul stone. All right, so we've stumbled upon a, another fortress here, not too far away from our base. I just did a little bit of exploring. I can also see that we got a little bit more over here, it looks like. So this one seems to be relatively big, and I was able to spot a blaze spawner already. So we're going to try to do this without dying. Now, I think I will be okay. Um, here we go. Oh, I meant to place a block. Let's get somewhere where I can get some cover so I don't get sniped by blazes or anything. Okay. Really should have bought a brought, brought a bow. Okay, so we got two different blaze spawners. Perfect. All right. So our quest is to get those. Got a wither skelly. Okay. We got a wither skeleton skull. Okay. I'm screwed. I'm not. Oh, I'm screwed. I don't have anything ranged. That was dumb. There's a wither skeleton guarding it. Um. <laughs> Okay, we baited, we baited this guy out. Man, how'd he hit me? Okay, we got it. Okay, so now we just, we just break it. I don't even think we need to shift, but now we have our first spawner. Perfect. Oh, man. Okay. This isn't nerve-wracking at all. Whoop, don't do that. Get this thing off my hotbar. <laughs> okay, so if we do slash home. Oh my gosh, that worked. And we have two spawners. Booyah. And two wither skulls. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to be doing some fighting here soon. Do you mind? I'm trying to make a video here. I'm trying to talk to my fans and you guys are just being so loud. And we also need some blaze rods, so I'm glad we got those. <gasps> Shut up! Shut up! Seriously! No one cares. No one cares. Okay. So we have our two spawners in there. Perfect. Um, I'm not gonna chance getting another one. And sorry. Sorry for those fools. So the other thing we're gonna need to make, so we have the spawners that we, we have now, which is perfect. Uh, I mean, clearly we have the spawners we have now. Anyway, besides the point. So we need to make these player traps in order to AFK these guys. Uh, so we need a phantom membrane, which means I need to not sleep for a while. But uh, in the meantime, we need to do some other things. 
like making some conveyor belts. So we need about, let's see, 9 by 9 is 81. So we're going to need about two stacks of these guys. Now, three leather equals eight of these conveyor belts. Now, we're going to be using these because uh, the vector plates, I believe, are a little bit further along. Yeah, we need sl we have slime, but we need we need lots of black dye. What is this black dye plate? Yeah, yeah, we need black dye, and we don't really have a whole lot of that yet. Um, dye essence. Tier two. What does it take to make these guys? Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on the room for our blazes. It's going to be very similar to how that one is set up, but it's going to be over to the right. Um, and then I will bring you guys with me when I have everything built for you. Shut up! All right, so with all of the rotten flesh that we have, we were able to make 31 leather. Now, I don't know. That actually was probably enough. We're not going to be using the full spawning area. We're just going to be making a little 3x3 three three section up there. As you can see, I've got it built. So, yeah, we'll be over there soon. All right, so this is the room we got here. Uh, the spawners are going to go between these two blocks, and we're going to knock this bottom one out. And then we're going to be pushing these guys down here into this hole. Now, normally I do like to drop it down below, so everything kind of has an equal distance to get to the, the little drop zone here. Uh, but we're going to be doing it a little bit different today. Um, so if you guys are wondering, hey, why didn't we use uh, something else? These have to be full blocks, really? I think they can be temporary blocks all right so yeah and then we're just going to point uh all of these guys face in there and the cool thing is they drop down in the middle we use our super cool sword does this have sweeping edge it does not but uh if we put sweeping edge on it, it'd be amazing so just going to continue to put these here like so we're going to cover the entire ground and then we will uh put the spawners in and run like crazy all right, so as you can see, we have all these guys in. Turned out we didn't even need a full stack, so we kind of wasted a little bit of, uh, of leather, which I'm kind of uh, a little sad about. But now we're just going to go ahead and place this guy here, place this guy here, and then it's just a, a shift click on each of these, and we're good. So I'm going to do it without that. And then we get down the hole. We place this there. There we go. Blaze spawners are in. Now we just wait for the blaze to spawn. So now this is the, the perfect AFK area uh, because I do have all the skeletons generating here, which will be cool because when we do get that... Um, ah, man, I just slept too. Dang it. When we do get the, the player damage trap, we'll be able to just put both of them here, sit in the middle, and just farm things. So very cool. But this is all we do now to kill the blaze. So cool. And blaze do drop more experience than skeletons do. I believe they drop five experience points, while skeletons drop, I think it's two or three. I might be right in between those. So, yeah, we're going to be getting more experience through these guys. So, very super duper cool. So, I'm going to stay here AFK for a bit and kind of slash these guys. And then we're going to see if we can get a, a phantom to spawn. So, we can go ahead and kill it and make the player traps. All right, guys, so it's been about 45 minutes since I was last with you, and we've got five blaze statues here. I don't even want to know how many things have despawned, not including all of the skeletons that I haven't killed over here. Um, how are blaze heads dropping from the skellies? That doesn't seem right. Okay, let's just go ahead and say screw it. We'll put everything away. We are out of room, really. We'll come back for it later. Okay, it's been about an hour and... Well, 45 minutes to an hour, and we need to get a phantom to spawn. So let's try to do that. Maybe we just need to run around. Oh, I found more of these guys. Nice. Uh, looks like we're not going to be able to get a phantom, unfortunately. So that means more AFK work for me. Uh, when I say AFK work, I mean uh, kill some blazes and watch YouTube videos while I wait for the blazes to die. <laughs> All right. 
All right, guys, so I've been exploring a bit, and we have a few phantoms that have spawned. So now we get to slay them. All right, we got the one that we needed. We got more. We've got to juke them. Come on, come on, you, you, you sky lovers. Oh, get wrecked. Ow, skeleton. No, uh, bad, bad time. Ow, bad time. Ah, there we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll throw the spider eye out because we don't really need that. And now we have six phantom membranes so we can set up auto AFK. This will be dual farm AFK. So this will be pretty sweet. So let's get in here. Let's go ahead and put everything away that we don't need. Okay, so what do we need in order to make this guy? So we need a diamond sword, cyan, and black plane, which is going to require some of those. Um, Botania, the mystical black petals. Do we have any of those? I don't believe we do. But we can always get some. So we're going to go ahead and smelt up some cacti real quick. So we can combine that for the cyan wool and then, or so the cyan dye. And then we're going to go kill some squids. All right, we got a few squid here. So let's go ahead and slice them. We got a squid head. Ooh. Oh, I'm drowning. Let's grab that head. Perfect. Check it out. We got it. I believe. Yes, we have enough for it. Beautiful. All right. And we should have some blackstone around here somewhere because I did mine it in the nether. Blackstone right there. That is not enough. We need to go back to the nether real quick. That guy just came out of the nether. Did you guys see that? All right, so just got back from the nether here. Now we can go ahead and make this guy, right? Yes. Make the smooth version of the blackstone, for the, or the polished, sorry. And then we come over here. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Don't listen to anything I just said. <laughs> don't go to the nether. You don't need to. We do need to smelt up some uh, cobblestone, though. Uh, the This whole process here, guys, um, this whole setup has been super duper helpful because pulverizer here, like we just throw items that we need smelted here, and they go in. Or we just throw the items that we want to get duplicated. Not really duplicated, but uh, processed here for like ores and stuff like that. It gets pushed right over and out into here. So... Very, very helpful. So let's go ahead, get these guys crafted up. That gives us 24. Holy crap, that was a lot. Okay, and then all we need is a diamond sword. Whoop, not the phantom membrane. And then we're missing the cyan, but we did smelt up the cacti. All right, now we just need to combine these guys, and we get cyan, perfect, and boom, yeah, there we go. We have the player damage trap. These are going to be amazing for getting experience. I said experience really weird there, didn't I? Okay, so let's put this guy here now, and we'll put that guy here now. Perfect, and now let's let's watch. So the AFK spot should be like right here. So as you can see, I don't have to do anything anymore. I just sit here, go AFK, 
and I start to get a lot of levels. Now, what we want to go ahead and do is eventually get a sorting system in here, so I can just AFK here in this one spot, and then there's a vacuum hopper. If we look here, Oop, if I get spell, yes. So right here is a ender hopper. It's like a vacuum. So what this does is it takes nearby items and puts it into the inventory below it. So we can set up some storage drawers in here that will auto sort things into them. We can put like a chest buffer so that it pulls them out of the chest and puts them into our storage drawer. So it'll be perfect. Um, but as you can see, I don't have to do any work and I am I'm getting everything that I need. So yeah, that's going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been your pal Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.